the fridge. It's just gotta go. Hi there, my name is Neil, and if you are looking for van life related content, then you've parked yourself in the right place. Don't forget, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, so you don't miss any of my latest videos. The fridge has got to go. That thing right there. Now, there's a few problems with the fridge. One, it just doesn't really hold a great deal of stuff. Number two, because it's an old fridge, as soon as you turn it on, your battery just dies. Gone. See ya. Goodbye. No more. Drained. Empty. Useless. So, my train of thought is, get rid of the fridge, you're going to get three, four times the amount of cabinet, 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 cabinet space. You're going to be able to store more. And... The bonus is, if there's any suppliers out there that want to supply me with a fridge, please feel free to do so. The link is in the description below where you can contact me or go to the about section on my YouTube page. Fridges for vans, they can be expensive. And I mean like ridiculously expensive. You're talking 500 to 1,000 pounds for a decent fridge. Really? I mean, I can get one for a house for the same price. But as soon as you mention the word camper van, oh, -ho, it goes through the roof. There's van life channels in Canada, they don't have fridges. There's van life channels in America, they don't have fridges. So why do I need that dirty big monstrosity in my van? It needs to go. And it needs to go now. So the idea is take the fridge out, build a cupboard inside, and then put a door on the front. Well, that's the fridge out. That wasn't easy. Now we've got a dirty big hole and a load of wires. Okay, so one thing I'd recommend is when you are doing jobs like leisure batteries, do all the cabling properly. Do the cabling before you start doing other stuff. Don't do what I did, which is just put shit in willy nilly and try and hide cables because it ends up looking like this. Okay, so basically what we're going to do with these wires are we're going to tidy them all up. It's not as much as a mess as you think it is. We need to make one earth strap and get all the earth straps that are off the battery going to one section. We need to move the fuse box and then we're going to make a frame inside this hole, give it a shelf, put a door on it, jobs are good. Tidied all the wires up, made them all safe, put new connections on the ends. Then I went and made an earth strap, basically to earth the battery, to keep the battery down secure, and also to keep the water bottle in place as well. So there's the earth strap there, it goes down to the chassis, then goes up along the battery. Let's go on the other side. It holds the battery down, I just put some sponge and tape the sponge on there so it's nice and snug. And then it comes down the side of the battery, runs along the floor, and I've just actually screwed this wooden plate to it 
so it keeps the, the water container nice and tight inside the van. So now it's time to get some wood cut, put some shelving in and get this job finished off. All the shelving's in, top shelf, bottom shelf, there's loads of room in there. Also, cut out through for the night eater. If you haven't seen the video on the night eater, which is there, full insulation video, up there somewhere. Go and check it out. Right, so a couple of days have gone by, as you can tell by the change of clothes. So that's the units all in. I actually covered the units in the stuff called Fablon. I think it looks nice. It kind of goes with the, it. Kind of goes with the van. Some of little stickers on there. Um, just places we've been. I'm actually going to peel the stickers off the back of the van, which are other YouTube channels, and I'm going to stick them on this one, just because I can keep them forever and they'll stay on that unit. Um, have fitted a couple of cupboards in there with things in. Also got a this thing a tool thing for screws and pull it's perfect for knives forks tea bags salt pepper things like that big spoons stuff for when you're cooking it keeps everything in one place that's a little van hack for you get yourself a screw box that'll keep all your cutlery in now i did upgrade the battery in the van when i was doing the job the actual leisure battery which sits in there which is just down there it was a 75 amp one but the leisure battery is now 120 amp, which is brilliant because I've tested it out over the last couple of days. I've run all the lights on it, I've run the night heater on it, I've run the television on it, I've run the Wi Fi on it, and this thing just doesn't drain power. So, definitely worth upgrading to 120 amp leisure battery in the van rather than the 75 amp one because it was just that little bit too small. Great for if you're just running lights, but the 120 amp one, perfect. Next job. Is replace the tap. I picked this tap up on eBay. No, it wasn't. It was on Amazon for seven pounds. It's got the switch on it. It's got the wires on it. The connections on it. So it's not going to leak. Thanks to Justin from Thirty Day Reviews. He does all sorts of beard and men's grooming stuff. Go and check him out. Also, the Maestrix Bear or the Maastricht Bear. He's a friend of mine. Search him on YouTube. He's got some great videos of ships being built. But I'm talking huge container ships. Yes, he works on a big container ship traveling all around the world. Go and check him out as well. But, non-leaky tap. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, leave us some comments in the comment section below. I don't know why, but just say hello. Give us a thumbs up and subs subscribe. It's in one of these corners. It's, you know, keep up to date with the videos. And until the next video, whatever you do, do it well. See you soon.